two states at once. She chose South Carolina. <laughs> Mother's Day to everybody. From Ethan. Yeah, from Ethan and Josh. Yeah. Abby got me Dolly perfume. Abby and Austin. Yeah. Um, so it's been a great weekend. I've loved it. Um, but we are here on a Saturday during the State Line Festival. Um, yeah. We're not getting a food pass because <laughs> yeah. we're just not because we got season passes and we're already maxed out. So, yeah. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Let's go get started. Yep. First time I've ever seen a Squishmallow. Pacific store. Pretty cool. Looks like Baggy Bridge is at home, don't he? It's a bat. Look at his little wing. <laughs> <laughs> Check out this cool arbor here. It's got all the plants growing over top of it. It's pretty sweet. Hey guys, so we've been exploring a little bit, kind of seeing what all they had, and they've got some crazy looking roller coasters. Yeah, the roller coasters are pretty nuts. Yeah, but the one thing we've noticed in everything is the wait times are incredibly long, like the load times. Yeah, the, the load times to get people onto the ride, like off and on the rides are like crazy. Yeah. I mean, even the little kid rides are pretty, pretty long. Yeah. We've been, it's not even that busy of a park, actually. No, it's really not. It's really busy when you first get into the park, and then after you explore and get further into it, it's not that bad. Yeah, but I haven't rode anything yet because I'm just like walking around and seeing what all they got, trying to figure out what I'm interested in. Um, right now, we're looking at Afterburner, and it's pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome looking. So I might come back to this later. Copperhead looked cool too. Copperhead did look cool, but its line was extremely long. So yeah, this one Afterburner, the line's not too bad, no. but it looks like it's about three or four minutes in between each ride, or more. Or more, yeah. yeah. It's cool too. I like how close they let you get up to the tracks here, yeah. so you can actually get a feel for how huge these roller coasters are. Like, yeah. At Dollywood, you can't do that. Yeah. They're all like pushed back and you can't get to it. These, you're walking through the tracks, under the tracks, like right beside the tracks, and you can see it, you can feel it. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, so much so you can see what everybody's wearing. And you can't do that at Dollywood. That's, right. That's and crazy. Yeah, and for it to be a park with little shade, it has a lot of shade, to be quite honest. They've got a lot of spots to yeah. where you can get under. A lot of the videos we watched, everybody was like, oh, there's no shade. Well, there's like trees everywhere. Yeah, and <laughs> so, then they got covered areas. Yeah, because I dressed like, I dressed for hotness today, and I'm actually kind of cool right now. Because yeah. I was expecting blaring sun with no shade, so yep. it's actually not that bad. 
Well, let's go explore. Yeah. Alrighty. Check out some of these shirts. Pretty nice. They explore Carowind shirts really nice and then quite a few over here. That's I call them pig. Oh uh, little Ethan a little pig. <laughs> All kinds of stuffed animals. Pretty cool. She should actually get Ethan this one. Big old chunker. <laughs> Check him out. Pretty cool. Jody's debating on which color to get. Chicky and pizza is supposed to be pretty good. We're still debating on where we want to eat today. No clue yet. Probably one of the coolest shirts I've seen today. Little jungle kits, kind of like Legos. That's pretty cool. Oh, you can see there. It's like as big as my face. Good lord. This is hands down the best shirt at the park. If I had fifty-five dollars, I'd be buying this. No regrets. These two mugs are pretty sweet and I love that Charlie Brown hat and Jody loves the All Smiles hat. Yes. I'm not in the doghouse today. I bought season passes. <laughs> that is great. Four Spirit jerseys, hats. The Snoopy Squishmallow. This is a pretty appropriate shirt for our first year here. May grab one of these if they have my size. All right, so we're going to go into the Harmony Hall and check out the food there, and we'll probably eat here. So they got barbecue, pizza, and more barbecue. I'm all about the barbecue. Mm -hmm. Nice big seating area. All right, so I got the beef brisket sandwich and mac and cheese, and Jody got her a turkey leg and mac and cheese. Looks pretty good. It was 15 bucks a piece, but we got 10% off with our gold pass discount. So Jody is not a fan of the turkey leg, are you? No. Pretty, pretty awful. Pretty hard to chew, pretty hard to pull apart. 
However, pretty the, sure it's rubber. Yeah. So not a item we would pick up again. But the brisket was was pretty dang good. I would get that for sure. All right, so I just tried cutting some off myself. It's really hard to cut, really hard to chew, and it really just doesn't taste that good either. the little wood stocks up there holding the lamps that's pretty cool kind of a little hidden feature well you look tired our camera ba uh, battery died so we're out of battery juice on that what do you want to do we don't know if we're going to leave yet or not um yeah it's kind of checking it out She's not feeling good. We've not been able to get on her rides. Her, I mean, she's hurting pretty bad. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So. The whole body. Yeah. And it's not like sickly hurting. I'm not sick. Yeah. I just hurt. <laughs> yeah. So we may call it a day and just head on home. We'll update you when we get feel a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys. So we ended up going to the car. I think we're going to call it an early day today. Yeah, I truly feel like crap. Yeah. To tell you the truth, I'm trying to stop caffeine. Mm -hmm. So migraine is at like max, but my body aches. I don't, I get body aches all the time. And this just happens to be one of those days. Yeah. Like my legs and my lower back have hurt since probably all week but this morning when I woke up I was like Ugh. of course today yeah is the day it's gonna be the worst but that's why we got season passes and we'll be back again yeah we'll definitely come back I like the park a lot the park is great but there are some noticeable difference you know uh, the food is a lot more pricey well well let's start out with the good stuff okay yeah. the rides are really cool even though we didn't ride well we rode like too. Yeah. Um, we rode the boo something where you shoot the little ghost. The dark I'll ride run. where you shoot the ghost. My gun wasn't working. I destroyed her. <laughs> Whatever. And then we rode the sky tower thing where you go up and it spins mm -hmm. and you get a look at the whole park. That was we really cool. It was really cool, but we couldn't hear anything it was saying because there were so many kids. There's tons of kids here today they had uh, all the little middle school bands from everywhere it seemed like here yeah so so lots lots of loudness going on mm -hmm. i loved camp snoopy camp snoopy's my favorite part of the whole dang park it is it, there's like hidden woodstocks everywhere kind of like disney does hidden mickeys they got like hidden woodstocks everywhere yeah but on a smaller level i guess yeah <laughs> and 
that whole area was just so cool. I know. Yeah. I'm looking forward to bringing Oliver to some of them. Yeah, whenever. Yeah, we'll be. We'll definitely be bringing a little Oliver whenever. He's old enough. Yeah. Um. Another thing that I loved about the park was the landscaping. Yeah, like, it was real pretty. There was plenty of shade. I don't know what these other videos were talking about. These other um, YouTubers, but there's plenty yeah. of shade. I'm a big guy. I sweat easy. I didn't sweat much today. It was hot today. There's plenty of shade. There was plenty of places to go with shade. Um, it was not bad. No, but it, the landscaping's beautiful. Yeah. Totally beautiful. There's little ponds and fountains everywhere. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, what's another good thing about the park? <laughs> I mean, it's got variety. They got 13 roller coasters. Yeah. They've got a ton of places to eat, including Chick-fil-A, Panda yeah, Express. they have Chick-fil-A and Panda Express, which leads to the bad things. Yeah. The actual park food that people rave about, we I, we didn't have that experience today. No. I mean, my, my sandwich was pretty good. I would get it again, but I'd give it a three out of five. And, like, her turkey leg was terrible. It was like chewing on shoe rubber. Yeah, that was a big waste. I mean... For the, and it was fifteen dollars for a dang turkey leg, and a side of mac and cheese. Yeah, that was mac and cheese was okay. It wasn't the best. Yeah, it was all right. Um, and then when you wanted to go get a drink, the drinks are really, really pricey compared to Dollywood. Their seasonal drink is twenty dollars at Dollywood. The seasonal drink here is thirty five dollars. No. Yeah. No, the seasonal cup at Dollywood is thirty dollars. Is it now? It is thirty dollars. Here it's thirty-five, My bad. so it's five more dollars. Um, but they don't offer the thing where, like, if you buy so many, they give you a discount yeah. per cup you buy. Um, and we didn't get a seasonal cup today because we, like I said, we bought passes. Yeah, we spent a lot so, on the passes and a lot on the food today. Yeah, um, that'll be a next trip thing. Yeah, we'll add that to the next trip, but. Um, the one thing that really was really, really high was the bottled Powerades and waters. Six dollars. Six dollars for a bottle of Powerade or a water. Five ninety six for a bottle of 20 ounce Powerade or 20 ounce bottle of water. The Gold Pass gives you 10% off, but I, we're not paying that for a Powerade we can get for a dollar at the gas station. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Uh, another thing is compared to Dollywood. Yeah, which was what we're going to compare it to because that's where we always go. Yeah. The park was dirty. And the staff was not as friendly. Yeah. There were some really rude staff at a few of the places. Yeah. The lines, like the flow of people for lines and stuff, I couldn't find an entrance to a There's to a an attraction. Um, yeah, they're not marked really well. Yeah, they're not clearly marked for, like, you can clearly see your fast pass lanes. Mm -hmm. Those are clearly marked. But then you see the exit right next to it. Where's your regular lines? Yeah. Like. The only one we noticed that had uh, a really clearly marked entrance was the Fury. Yeah, Fury 325 has clearly marked entrance. And that one roller coaster that was closed today that was yellow, the... Something. I don't remember what don't it was, know. but it wasn't open, so we didn't go over there. But it was clearly marked two, but two out of thirteen. That's yeah. Um, but it is our first time to the park. Yeah. But still, we should be able to clearly see the entrances to these attractions. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know that that bothers me for some reason a lot. Oh, uh, one thing that really bothers me today was they don't take cash. God, that was huge. That was frustrating because I was like, all right, we're going to go on a budget. I'm going to pull cash out. We're going to get there and just use the cash. No, you get here and it's debit only on everything. And I'm like, well, what the heck did I pull the cash out for? If you're a little kid coming and that's all your papa or somebody gives you five bucks to go get something. They can't. Yeah, how do the kids do? How, how are these little kids that's here with their school? How are they doing it? I don't know because they don't take cash. Yeah. Which blows my mind. Yeah, all these kids that's here, I mean, the parking lot for the buses is packed. Mm -hmm. There's thousands upon thousands of little kids in here. You know that they don't have debit cards. No. no. They're little kids, and not all of their parents came with them. 
And you know the chaperones aren't just going to whip out their bank card and say, here you go. I don't like, know if that was a COVID procedure or something and they just eat switch back or not. Um, but that was really frustrating today. I was really frustrated with that. Yeah, because we budgeted. Yeah. So. Yeah. That that was frustrating. Um, I don't know. But, you know, we will be back a bunch. Yeah. We got season passes. We're going to have fun. Yeah, we're totally excited to bring Oliver. We're totally excited to come back for Scarewinds because we've heard nothing but good things about And the about Great Scarewinds. Pumpkin thing we saw. There was something about the Great Pumpkin. Yeah. And their Winterfest thing. Like, we'll be back for all of it. Just because we have some yeah. not so great things, great experiences today about the park, doesn't mean that we hate the park no. in any way. I we, give the park a 7 out of 10. Yeah, we totally enjoyed our day. But we had high expectations because everybody... Built it up so big. Yeah. Yeah, they were like, Carowinds is my favorite. We've been to Dollywood, but Carowinds is totally our favorite. So I was like, oh, okay. Like, let's do this. And then we get here and it's like, eh. They do have a bigger variety of rides. Yeah. But they have less of a variety of, a, like, um shows and attractions like that yeah and the food so far what we had is nowhere near no. to what dollywood has no dollywood's gonna be completely on food oh, and staff friendliness too yeah the and cleanliness and cleanliness so the staff friendliness is a big one i think they need to work on that because a lot of these these people are pretty pretty rough yeah, I got, we were coming off the Sky Tower, like it came down, they opened the door and we're coming out and I say, oh, thank you, just like I do to every um, ride operator or anybody in these parks because they're out here in the hot sun, like working their butts off. Um, and you all know I say thank you. I say thank you on uh -huh. our videos all the time um, to the park staff. Well, I say thank you to this lady as we're getting off and she doesn't even acknowledge me. Like, mm -hmm. she looks at me, and that was it. Yeah, and then the guy that I was buying the shirt for Jody for, um, oh, we don't get cash. If you can't, if you can't get a card, you can't get it. And I went back in. Are you going to get it? I thought you, you were paying cash. I was like, no, I'm going to pay card. All right. You know, just kind of rude in, in that sense. Like, it was an inconvenience for him to have to ring it up again. Yeah. One shirt. Yeah. Scan a barcode. So, I mean, and you know, some of the, some of the people just, just the way they were interacting with other guests. Yeah. I mean, granted, there's a, lots of kids here. <laughs> lots of basketballs but being bounced. I like to, I, I like to say they need to put their Chick-fil-A face on. Yeah. They need to. They should. Chick-fil-A's in there and they need to go around and help them out a little bit. Yeah. I mean, Panda Express is good too. Yep. They're in there also. Well, that was our first experience. We will definitely be back. Yes. I mean, it was fun. I enjoyed the park. Yeah, I did too. I, I wish I could have enjoyed it more. But, but we wanted to point out the inconveniences from our first time. This is what we noticed on our first time to the park. Yeah, because there's others that we know of mm -hmm. that watch these videos and depend on these videos to plan their trips. So we want to be upfront and honest. Yeah. We will definitely come back. We like the park a lot. Yeah. Um, the only thing we have to compare it to is Dollywood, and that's the friendliest place on earth. Mm -hmm. um, and cleanest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we just want to be honest. Um, but we don't want to bash. We don't want to see no bashing of Carowinds mm -hmm. or Dollywood in the comments, so just don't. Um but we are excited to be back. If you all know of any tips or tricks or anything like that, leave them for us because we're coming back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we need to know all of this information. Yep. Um, but, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. It's just this head and my body yeah. are not working with me today. So, well, um, yeah. But we're, <laughs> we're done. We're going to head home. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Yeah. It's free. Thank you for watching. Yes, thank you for watching. Thank you to Carowinds. It's pretty it was nice. We have fun. Just wear a smile every once in a while. Mm -hmm. And say thank you or you're welcome. And that's it. We're off. <laughs> Thanks for Bye. watching, guys. Bye.
Patch, here we go. Enjoy your ride, folks. And around we go.